Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another month of favourites with a little bit of a twist. Not too much of a twist, just like a 90 degree twist maybe. Um, I'm only going to be featuring 8 products. I just want to kind of streamline these videos and make them a bit more, a bit more catchy and, what's the word, short and snappy. That's what I'm looking for, a short and snappy favourites video, which I doubt this is going to be, but that's what we're going to do from now on. I uh, hope everyone had a cracking July and I know you may be wondering why 8, specifically 8 things. And to be honest, 8 is just my favourite number, between 1 and 10 anyway. Let's start with beauty, because that's what we all come here for. This is an Axiology lipstick, it's their soft cream in identity, and I've got a lip crayon from them, but that is packaged in plastic. And this, the actual bullet is plastic, but the lid is aluminium, which I love. Like, if you haven't heard of Axiology, they are a cruelty-free and vegan brand, and they also think about the ingredients in their products, like they are quite a clean brand, non-toxic if you will. They really kindly sent me this one over to try and I hadn't tried this formula before. When I first saw the colour I wasn't sold, when I first saw the finish I wasn't sold and when I first applied it to my lips I wasn't sold on the formula either and yet it's made it into a favourites video which just goes to show that first impressions count for not too much to be honest. Um, for me anyway, I, I seem to always change my mind about products or most of the time I do so that's why I don't often do first impressions and also why it takes me a while to do a, a review of a product because I do like to test things. I feel like nowadays when so much PR is sent out, sometimes maybe I'm guilty of this as well, posting too soon about something or talking about something too soon before I've got a well-rounded opinion of it. So that's just me kind of justifying my lateness to the game a lot of the time. But um, I actually really love this. Firstly, packaging, look at this, Just it's one of those, it's one of those, you click it to release it and then bada bing bada boom, you've got a very bougie lipstick, which the cap doesn't come off in your bag. If you chuck this in your bag, there's no chance of the lid coming off. And also the colour is something that's just a bit different for me, kind of like a blue toned Barbie pink, very Nicki Minaj circa super bass era, whenever that was. When was that? 2008 maybe? That was a guess. Maybe a bit later, 2010. I don't know. But not really my typical shade. And also it's more of a pearlized finish and I usually go for more kind of creamy finish or satin finish uh, lip products. Without a gloss on top it looks like something my mum would wear which is not a bad thing but I usually wear a gloss on top just to give it a little bit more of a you know plumpy look. I love the colour and I've really been enjoying this and I've also really been enjoying just sitting there clicking this. Next up, item number two out of eight. These are cracking. I mentioned these in my last favourites video, but kind of as a side note, and I said I'd update you. Well, your update is, I love these. They are the first solid shampoo, shampoo cubes. It's the first one that I've tried that I actually get along with, that I think is just as good, if not better, than my regular shampoo. And my favourite shampoo is either the Naughty Shampoos, I like the John Masters one, and I love the Aveda Cherry Blossom Shampoo, or Cherry Almond Shampoo really really nice but this I have been reaching for over that if you haven't seen these before they come in these white cubes and you you crumble it up in your hand with a little bit of uh, water it makes a paste and then it starts to get all soapy and kind of like suds up if that's the right phrase like bubbly and then um, it lathers really nicely and you can work it into your hair it's just like a regular shampoo although it's extra extra nourishing I find these are targeted at normal to dry hair so if you've got oily hair I'd go for the ones in the green packaging these ones have got coconut milk in which I feel like just Maybe it's the coconut milk, maybe it's the pro vitamin B5, but I find it leaves my hair really shiny, really nourished, very clean. And I always found with solid shampoo bars, it was more just kind of like matting my hair, it felt quite harsh on my hair. Whereas these feel really nourishing, obviously they're plastic free, which is amazing, they're cruelty free, they're vegan. These do have essential oils in, I did want to mention. I have a really sensitive scalp and I find they're really nourishing on my scalp, but I know some people are extra sensitive to essential oils. Bear that in mind, but I love them. And also, no plastic. Speaking of plastic, this foundation, the packaging is made from 10 plastic bags lifted from the ocean. So it uses ocean waste plastic to make the packaging of this foundation, which I'm kind of like torn about on one hand. I think that's great. It's better than doing nothing. But on the other hand, it's still plastic and it's this is probably not recyclable now that it's been mixed with that plastic. So I'm kind of on the fence, but this is the Dextream foundation by Gosh. I've got a full review on this. If you're interested, I will link it when it's live. But obviously because I'm featuring it in this video, you know it's a positive review. It is very comparable to the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, which if you're new to my channel, is one of my, is my all time favorite foundation. It gives such good coverage for such little amount of product, but it feels really lightweight on the skin and that's what this is. It feels lightweight on the skin. It's long lasting on the skin. It covers my eye bags really well. Like I'm wearing this today, but I haven't got any concealer on and you can see like it's covered my eye bags pretty well. I do have quite dark sort of purpley under under eye bags if you again if you're new to my channel you won't know that. I always like having a full coverage concealer underneath my eyes but with this and with the Beauty Bounce foundation I can get away with just 
you know, using this as concealer. The downside of this foundation is the shade range. There are four shades and the darker shade is, is not dark at all. So formula amazing, shade range not great, plastic, ocean waste plastic thing. You may think that's a pro or a con depending on where you stand, but I thought I'd give it a mention because I think the formula is really, really good and I have been wearing it a lot. Something else I've been using a lot is the Bybee CBD Booster. I'm not the most educated when it comes to CBD, but I know some people say that it's like amazing and it's, it will revolutionise your skin, whether you ingest it, whether you apply it to your skin, like it's amazing for anti-inflammation and all the different benefits it brings. Um, but then you speak to other people and they're like, oh no, you need THC to have any of those benefits. And I feel like some, well, sometimes I read one article and I'm like, okay it sounds pretty good and then I read another article and I'm like oh it's a con and then I'm like oh no it sounds good that's a con I don't know I don't know but I do know that this works really well for my skin it soothes the skin really really well and I find that I don't want to say it's anti-inflammatory but it reduces redness for me it reduces my redness and it's just very kind to sensitive skin so it's a blend of 100 milligrams of CBD and hemp oil it says it's calming which I agree with reduces breakouts I haven't really had a breakout so I guess so yeah helps ease redness yes I agree with that and it also relaxes areas of irritation I agree with all of that and I love these little boosters the idea is you can either apply it all over your face or you can just add a few drops to your you know your regular moisturizer you can do this with any facial oil but that's what these are specifically marketed for I also wanted to mention a sustainable and ethical fashion brand a underwear brand and a sportswear brand and they're called organic basics which may ring a bell if you follow cruelty free bloggers or ethical fashion bloggers i feel like they sent a lot of stuff out recently and i was thinking i want to test them to make sure that they're good quality first because i don't just want to you know post about it for the sake of it as i said with the axiology lipstick like i feel like there's real value in testing a product and making sure that you really recommend it so yeah they really kindly gifted me this co-ord and i was so impressed with the quality the fit the brand overall the look the style that i went out and spent 25 pounds on two pairs of socks it's an expensive brand don't get me wrong it's expensive but they have sales quite often and i actually think it's really good value for the quality i used to buy primark Primark workout gear back in the day. I've only really bought like the cheapest of the cheap workout gear or nowadays I buy secondhand workout gear which means that it's ever so slightly off fit. So either I've been using really really cheap cheaply made cheap materials elastic that goes really quickly from Primark or I've been using workout gear that just doesn't really fit properly so this has been a real treat and I'm so grateful to have been able to test these out so I picked up the sports bra and um, this is in burgundy and I got mine in extra small these all of these things are from the silver tech range I think this gives good support I'd say like medium impact I do have quite small boobies I've got size B boobs so like for me it's fine if you've got any bigger you may need a more higher impact Bra, but they might have that on their website if you have a little have a little look it holds you in really really well this material is like i said silver tech it's 95 percent recycled nylon and it's made in portugal and to go with the sports bra i got these leggings these are in small medium and they've also got a um, size guide on the website if you're wondering what what small is what medium is these do absolute bits for the bum they just they just sculpt it i know i'm talking about my own bum here but like sometimes after i've been for a run i like look at myself in the mirror and think all right Okay, yeah, I see what you're working with. That's good, that's nice. And it's the leggings. I am quite short, so I would say they kind of gather a little bit at the bottom, but like ever so slightly. But like I say, I was so impressed with the quality of those two that I picked up two pairs of very expensive socks. And the idea behind these, again, they are silver tech, so they're supposed to be breathable, good for sport, but they're supposed to reduce the amount of washes you have to do with your, like how many times you put the washing on, because you're supposed to be able to rewear these like many many times without them smelling and like I say I've put them to the test I've worn these for five runs <laughs> I've ran five times in these and I'm gonna do a smell test for you they smell like very very faintly very faintly but for five runs if I was using a regular pair of socks they would be at, they'd be crusty with sweat like they would be disgusting I could wear them again and it means that you reduce I'm gonna Stop rubbing this on my nose now but it means that you reduce the amount of water you're using because you're not putting on as many washes same with the bra it breathes really well and it, i don't i don't even wear deodorant and i don't find it smells under the arms after i've exercised so love those highly recommend and i can't wait to make some more investments in the brands also speaking of running i have been going on some runs and i wanted to mention the app that i've been using which is couch to 5k it's a very popular app so you've probably heard of it if you live in the uk it's by the nhs and it's basically to get you from not being able to run at all and to be able to run for 5k. 
which is a big jump for someone who hates running or hated running. Now, I genuinely look forward to running and I'm only part way through the app. Um, basically, you put it on with your music, so you have it in your headphones and it kind of tells you when to run, when to power walk, um, like when to slow down, do your cool down, warm up, blah blah blah, and you can pick the different people that you want to talk to you. I have Joe Wiley. It kind of, I was listening to another uh, podcast actually called Control Alt Delete, which is a great podcast by a lady called Emma Gannon, and she speaks to different creatives, different writers, and people who are into social social media and all that stuff and she's just got a very laid back interview style it's really really good I highly recommend it and she spoke to someone called Bella Mackey who um, she's actually married to Greg James if you know who Greg James is but she wrote a book called Jog On I think she's a journalist as well but she wrote a book called Jog On which I've actually bought it's over there it's on my to read list um, but it's all about how running saved her life I mean it's quite a big claim but um, it really helped her like mentally, she had really really bad anxiety, bad depression, but yeah that's what kind of got me into thinking like maybe running doesn't have to be a chore. I did not know that Eden Perfumes did candles, if you don't know who Eden are, they dupe designer fragrances, I have talked about them so many times on my channel, they make designer fragrances cheaper, cruelty free, vegan and more natural. They don't use parabens in their formulations, they don't use any animal ingredients and they're amazing so you can literally type in on the website whatever fragrance you usually wear that's not cruelty free and they'll give you, they'll find a dupe for you. But they came out with candles and I had no idea so I was on their website the other day buying some perfumes and I picked this up. This is the Daisy perfume and it smells just like Marc Jacobs Daisy and my nan used to wear Daisy perfume as well so I feel like all in all a lovely little candle to have on hand, it's quite nostalgic for me. And then last but not least, my eighth favourite to mention is a Netflix recommendation called Tuca and Bertie, which is an animated... Oh, I'm going to have to describe it now. It's an animated series on Netflix. They only did one series and they cancelled it. And there's been a bit of an uproar about it, and after seeing the uproar I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. If everyone's so, you know, upset about it, maybe it's really, really good. And I tried it, and the first episode was a little bit manic at first, and I was thinking, it kind of gave me like Rick and Morty vibes, if you've ever seen Rick and Morty. It's that kind of like weird cartoon. It's about two birds, <laughs> two female birds um, who are living in bird town. One toucan called Tuca and one songbird called Bertie. And they, oh, it's just about them, their friendship. It's got like friendship in there, it's got relationships in there. It's two female voices, but just being fun and weird and quirky and I actually read an article the other day about how Netflix are cancelling a lot of a lot of different series but specifically female led or female written series on of their own brand stuff which is very interesting I really enjoyed it so I hope I've sold it to you because let's all campaign to get a season two I'm on that bandwagon I think that definitely deserves a season two so yeah, thank you so much for watching, that's the end of my video, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to know any more information about any of the stuff, I'll obviously list the names down below. If you want to see some more from me, subscribe if you'd like to, and hopefully I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!